Hi there. This is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to find the roots of a parabola. Let's say we're looking at a parabola of the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where x is our independent variable, as usual, and a, b, and c are constants. The roots of the parabola are the x values for which y is 0. Sometimes this is very easy to find, other times you'll need a special formula. Let's go through some specific examples. y equals x squared minus x minus 20. In this case, it helps to notice that this is factorable. We can rewrite it as x minus 5 times x plus 4. If you're ever uncertain about your factorization, you can simply multiply it back out to see if you get the original expression. So we want to know when this is equal to 0. Well, it helps to notice that this entire expression will be equal to 0 if this is equal to 0 or if this is equal to 0. So let's write that out. Here we can quickly see that x is equal to 5, and here x is equal to negative 4. Awesome. But what if you're given an expression that is not factorable, which can happen even by changing a single coefficient? Now we will need to use a special formula, the quadratic formula, which looks like this negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Here, the plus or minus means that we'll get two answers. Note that the square root operation is only valid for non-negative numbers. If b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, you'll have two real roots. If it's equal to 0, then the plus and minus will be the same, so you'll only get one answer. But if this is a negative number, you won't get any real roots. You'll have to use what are known as complex numbers. For now, we're going to use an example that gives real roots. Let's start plugging in our numbers and see what we get b is negative 1, so this becomes 1, plus or minus square root, b squared, again, is 1, minus 4 times a is 2, and c is negative 20. All this over 2a, a is 2, so the denominator is 4. And we can simplify this a little bit. We see that 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 20 is 160. And we have two negative signs that cancel out. So we get 1 plus 160, or simply 161. So the x coordinates of our roots will be 1 plus or minus the square root of 161 divided by 4. And if you want, you can rewrite this as two different answers. 1 plus square root 161 over 4, 1 minus the square root of 161 over 4. Either way is a perfectly valid representation. My name is Ryan Malloy. And we've discussed how to find the roots of a parabola.